here we have two Sony Dream Machine clocks. Um, and it looks semi bright on camera, but that is actually as bright as they get. And that's kind of shitty. Um, anyway, I looked through the manual online with this thing, and there was legit no way. Well, it shows in the. It doesn't. What doesn't show on the manual is <laughs> there's no way to set the dim or the brightness settings. They don't um, describe. Um, go go through how that works. Well. Randomly, I'm hitting the snooze, date, and sleep off button, and it eventually started, there we go, it dimmed. And it should dim again. And it's not going to for this video, is it? Because it has another dim setting, and then it goes back to the bright, full bright, which is what the bottom one is. I'm probably hitting buttons on the bottom one too as I'm pushing on the top one. Anyway, um, since I'm here, I might as well show how to set the set the clock. Uh, it's, it's a little weird. So you hold down the clock button until you hear a beep. That's the year. So minus and plus will advance that. Push clock. There's your month. Push clock. And your day. Push clock. Then you set your time. And if you hold it, it will advance every 10 minutes per sec. Well, not per second, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I know. I'm not really good at explaining these right now. Anyway, then you just hit clock again and you're done. Now for the alarm, you can just go to the alarm, radio, or buzzer. And then the alarm indicator will blink. And then you use this alarm time set slider switch. And then that's that for the alarm. I'm not even going to demonstrate the radio, it's too crappy. You got a time zone button. We're usually in time zone 2, which, which we are. And the DST, there's a DST button. Right now it's set for auto on. If you hold it, I thought the instructions said it will, it will deactivate it, but that's obviously not working. Anyway, the whole brightness thing is so random. Now it's not going to do it for me. It did once, but this one doesn't seem to actually do that. People say to hold down the snooze for like five, six seconds, but that doesn't do anything. And some people say you hold clock plus for like six seconds then the snooze but that's not doing anything either and so I was rapidly just going through and spamming the snooze button and it got this one got dimmer and then it finally got to its brightness full brightness again and now it's not doing it so these are very strange clocks indeed, seeing as how it has some sort of brightness control, but it's not described in the manual. And then hitting a combination of a button or buttons or whatnot will change it. But that one doesn't do anything when I do that. This one does once in a while, which you may have noticed earlier that the top display did get a little dimmer. Yeah, so, I don't know. These are just the weirdest little clocks. Anyway, that model number is ICFC218. Yeah. Alright, later.